talk about atomizer shorts real quick. Um, and let's just talk about the word atomizer. Uh, when you stop in at Central Iowa Vapors, you're gonna hear some people say atomizer, and you're gonna hear some people say coil. Now let's learn properly. This is an atomizer. What's inside of the atomizer is a coil. But now we're here to talk about shorts. This coil is still perfectly fine, but I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna create a short for you, so therefore you know exactly what it's going to do. Now, typically, when it's not shortened, it works. <laughs> That's the point, right? But now let's say you're working and your coil has been in there for, let's say two days, and you go to hit it and nothing happens. Nothing happens. And then my screen's on the bottom, but then you look at your screen, and then it just says short. What do you do? Well, first, let me make a short. Insert, an eternity later. That was supposed to be SpongeBob. But then we come in here, we mess up our stuff inside. Now the stuff that I'm speaking of is actually wire. And the wire inside is usually made of like nichrome, canthal, stainless steel, or 316L, um, which is also stainless steel. Um, I just said it by the way, to be, to be smart, I guess. Um, but inside, I mess with the wire, and usually the wire looks like a staircase, a spiral staircase. And all I did was make two of those little pieces of metal touch. So right now, I should be able to click this, and it should say shorted. Well, it still wants to work, so. That didn't work for me. That just goes to show you how good coils actually are. So if your coil doesn't work right away, it was probably just a bunk coil right from the beginning. All right, so let's dive in close and personal with a couple tanks. So we have two different varieties. You have a sub tank and you have a non sub tank. Now, when it comes to what we were talking about, which let's start with no atomizer, a couple different things that you can do to get an atomizer to fire. Now, keep in mind, each atomizer is not like the other. So everything is gonna be slightly different. I have two different ways to show you that. First, let's crack open the bottom of this tank. And then let's take this coil out. Every tank and coil has a gold pin, okay? Now this gold pin, you can actually just pry up ever so slightly. So if you can see that, there is a slight gap. Now that gap is probably all you need for this gold pin to make a connection on the inside to that gold pin. Now that gold pin is actually connected to the bottom of the 510 connection. Now that 510 connection is actually what screws into the device. And I bet you already assumed that device is what gives you the power. So all these connection points is what's gonna allow the atomizer to fire. So if you have an issue where the atomizer is not firing, you can pull this down, or if the tank allows you to do so, you can also push inside of it. And I'm gonna show you that next. And now, we put our tank back together. Dry it off. And to push a pin down, as long as the tank allows you to. Certain tanks are easier than others. Certain ones will have a learning curve, but you would just take a long, of something long, essentially, and you're gonna push down straight in the center, and then you're gonna push, and everything should align back up, including this pin, and this pin just actually pops down a little bit more. So when you screw everything together, it all lines up. Now that's with no atomizer. No atomizer is a little bit more rare, um, shorted at atomizers and hot spots are a little bit more frequent and we're gonna go over that next so now here's another coil that you can look at um, it is unfortunately almost exactly how this one is but a lot of tanks and coils and atomizers don't have this hole in the bottom a lot of times there's a hole right over here on the side for the airflow and this portion would be closed off so inside what we would be doing is pushing our coil through a mouthpiece like I did on this one just like that and it would push this gold pin down so therefore it'd be making a connection once again we can also pull this little portion down to have that connection but that's for no atomizer but what do i do if my atomizer is shorted well to be honest with you 
Shorted atomizers are kind of hard to fix because they're shorted. That means they're touching, the coil inside is touching part of this casing that is also metal when it isn't supposed to. So the current isn't going to where it's supposed to. So it, the device is saying, yo, let's not fire this right now. That's not safe, man. All right, so that's once again, Nick Campbell talking about something vape related. Um, if you do have any other prior questions about what we just talked about today or anything that you would like to hear from us in the future, please pipe on over to our Facebook page or our website and shoot us a DM or an email, or you can also give us a call. So hear from you later.